Hey, what's up everybody? Jess here, OJM Farms. Today I'm uh, feeding some calves in the weaning pen. I thought I'd show you uh, how I set up a pretty inexpensive uh, cattle working system. So uh, let me get this camera turned around here and I'll show you what I got. All right, y'all, I'm in the kind of the far corner here. I guess you could call this the holding pen, uh, catch pen, whatever you want to call it. There's a gate here. Well, uh, usually if I'm catching cows, I'll bring them in through this gate and I'll turn around here in a minute and get you a view of that. But like I said, the calves, I have a weaning pin through that gate right there. So they're coming in this way and I keep them shut in there. That gives them a bigger area to roam around in and feed hay, I feed hay in there. And then I do, I feed them in here so that I can catch them and I can run them through this uh, working system when I need to. So let's uh, walk down through here. I'll show you kind of how I get them uh, pushed up into the alleyway. So there's that gate I was just at. And I could, there's another small gate on the other side of that prefect squeeze chute. And that's usually where I back the trailer up to to uh, load them up. got a gate here when I have them when I get ready to catch them and run them through here I will uh, I'll push a certain if there's a bunch in here if I have the, all, the whole herd in here especially the big cows I will use this gate to uh, cut some off and put them in here and I will have this little gate shut right here so that basically They'll come through this gate and they'll be trapped inside of this area right here. So I will walk down along this kind of divider right here. And once I walk, let me zoom out a little bit. So this, this gate's closed. I've got maybe four or five in here. So I'll walk down here and when I do, they want to go around me because that gate is closed and go up into there and I'll continue to push them. So when I bring them up into here, I have this gate open. And so they're gonna come into here. And at this point, you may recognize what this is. If you've been looking at the cattle handling systems, it is a, a DIY uh, panel built bud box. So these are just some uh, pretty rugged panels. I don't know that I would do it with real light panels, but these are panels that I got put together. I think this is 12 feet wide by 20 or 24 feet long. I can't remember. I will, uh, I'll measure it and I'll throw some text up here. Here is a little escape gate. And then one thing I'm glad I put in is a slide gate. To lead into that alley so like i said the cows or calves will come in here when they do just like a regular bud box i'll close this door walk on down this way and at this point they're looking for a way out and uh if you know cows or calves they like to go back the way they came so they're gonna they're gonna go around me and head back towards this gate that they came through but that's going to be shut and i've got this uh this black screen over it so it really blocks their vision at that point you know they know they can't get through it or they think they can't get through it so i can i can kind of step in a little bit and kind of draw their eye over this way and when i do that usually with cows more so uh this works calves especially the first couple of times it takes them a few times to get used to knowing where to go but i'll have this sliding gate open so i'll kind of step in to try to catch their eye and turn their head that way and when they do they will see that opening and then go in and like i said I, I have to work with them you got to be patient i mean this is a, a low stress method they don't always do what you want them to do especially these calves if it's their, if it's their first time going through there And right now, all that's closed off, but normally all that would be opened up, like my, my gate on my head catches and things would be open so they see a path through there. 
and they're a little more a uh, little more willing to get in there and i also have right here a no back alley stop that was uh, a big help also so between this sliding gate and that alley stop it holds them in there pretty good even the little calves the bad thing about calves uh you know they're always going to turn around but uh a lot of times i can if one turns around i can push the other ones by that one and go ahead and get them worked and i'll open this slide gate back up and let him whichever calves turn around let them back into here and then run them back through and then try to get them in there get them through there quick so they don't get turned back around but So yeah, just a, a few thoughts on this setup. Uh, I do like the bud box. It works pretty good. I could take all these panels down and move them if I needed to, if I had another area where I needed to uh, to move some cattle through. This really isn't an ideal setup for a bud box. Ideally, you'd want a, an alley going this way and them to come through and have the gate uh, open right here. And that way, because the thing with this one is when they come in from this direction and so that's the direction they want to go back so they're they're most of the time they put their nose right in this corner and that causes a little bit of issue but i think if it was set up ideally how it's supposed to be where it was a long rally this way and then they came in and they would know that they could go straight back out they would be more apt or i think they would see this uh, opening of this entryway sliding gate right here and not make it uh and it would make it a little bit easier to get them down in that alley especially the first one or two times that they run through this system like i said after a few times they figure out that that's the way out and so uh after a few times of going through here they they know where to go and you don't really have to push them as much And then, of course, like I said, this is just an alleyway. Uh, this alley really is a little bit too long uh, because I can I can get a lot more in this alleyway than I can fit in that bud box. But the snowback alley stop helps a lot with that because uh, once they get past that, they can't back up and they kind of they tend to keep moving forward, uh, especially with cows. Calves a whole other story. Uh, if you've worked any calves, you know what I'm talking about. And then the old Prefort uh, SO4, really great squeeze shoot, no complaints. Uh, one thing I did opt for was a preg, preg check cage, and that is come in handy. Really like that for being able to get into the back end of those calves or cows. All right, so yeah, that's it. Uh, just wanted to run through that uh, little setup with you right quick. Uh, like I said, that is a bud box. Uh, do some research on it. It's a really cool system uh, and fairly inexpensive to set up. So if you're on a budget, uh, it's it's a good option. And it's also portable, uh, or you you can build them portable. Of course, you build one permanent. That's not portable. But this one I have set up here. I can move it if I wanted to. I could take it across the creek, or uh, if I do something else here lease place or something like that i can move it this uh this corral that we're in here is an old wood corral it was already here and i didn't really have any good options for uh moving cattle through here to the head chute and uh like i said i was able to build this bud box inside of this old wood corral and uh, kind of section it off to where i could i could cut them off and then move the ones through there that i wanted to and it's worked pretty good so far so anyway, uh, like I said, I, I got to get up there and get some hay put out for these calves. I uh, just wanted to show that to you right quick. If you enjoyed this video at all, give it a thumbs up. Check out some of our other videos. Subscribe if you haven't. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.